Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. As we had earlier reported, Yabo Ojo came out to say that she will not back down to justice is served. As she spoke on Baba Jesha's ongoing case. This movie star berated Nigerians who have mocked her for crying more than the bereaved. And she revealed that she will not back down from that child molestation case in a 7 minutes video where she shared on her social media. In a 7 minute video she shared on her social media platform, Yabo Slam Nigerians who have accused her of crying more than the bereaved in this child molestation case. And according to this movie star, who is also a rape victim, the government is not the problem with Nigerians. Rather, Nigerians have their own problems. And in our words, I used to think the government was the problem in this country, but I have to understand that we are our own problem. The way we are wired, the way we reason, the way we think, it is always all about us. Oh, she's not your child, so you're not so open about it. That is the same problem we have in Nigeria. We are the problem in Nigeria. The day we begin to take up issues that do not concern us and treat them like our own problem, Nigeria will get better. So my brothers and sisters, I'm that woman who would stand for that girl to the end. I'm not backing down. Justice will be saved. Thank you. And yes, a lot of tech experience are supporting Iyabo Ujo, even though at the beginning and before millions of Nigerians saw the CCTV footage. Um, Nigerians and Nollywood stars were clamoring to see the evidence first before they would believe the charge against Baba Jesha. Yeto Itomatu, who is a popular Yoruba actress, says that God bless you, my darling Yabo Ujo. You are very correct. We are the originator of our own problems. God Almighty will continue to strengthen you. Amen. Shonjima also praised Yabo Ujo by calling her an awesome bin. Meanwhile, a lot of Yoruba actors and actresses are still trying to stay away from this case because of the sensitive nature of the case. Also, the Yoruba actor Kule Adebite gave Yabo his support on her speech. Meanwhile, as we had earlier reported, today Yomi Fabi made a serious allegation as he says that the Yoruba actress Yabo Ujo and Princess promised to kill Baba Jesha if he's released on bill. Meanwhile, Yomi Fabi took to his official social media platform to accuse the Yabo Ujo and Princess and remind the public about his protest which is going to commence tomorrow. And he says that Nigerian police, please allow the law to dictate to you, not Yabo Ujo, Princess and Co. Please release Baba Jesha. Iyabo Ojo and Princess promised to kill Baba Jesha if released on bail. In this era, police, we know you're doing your job and we are not against it. But please release Baba Jesha on bail. Iyabo Ojo and Co are not the constitution. The fundamental rights should not be compromised. The law is the law. Denying bail is human rights violation. Illegal detention is human rights violation. Do not support it. Nigeria police must respect human rights and honor bill for all billable offenses. Illegal police detention, don't wait until it is done to your relative, brother, sister or you. Say no to setup, say no to torture, say no to forceful confession and obtaining statements under duress. It is criminal to use a child as props slash bait in a legal setup. And he added that please wear face mask and black t-shirts. The protest will be at Banti, at CIID, in a Dekule bus stop tomorrow in Lagos State. And the time is 10 a.m. Well, Yomi Fabi made a very serious allegation by saying that Yabo Ojo and Princess promised to kill Baba Jesha if he's released on bail. Meanwhile, as you had earlier reported, a man whose social media handle goes by the name DY Vacations threatens to put Yabo Ojo's career to an end. Earlier on, as his usual daily fashion, Yomi Fabi, the Yoruba actor, had gone on social media to drag Yabo Ojo Princess and Lagos State Government and do have a question says that CP or police has spoken out says that it is a billable offense and said Yabo and Princess we are aware that the girl was raped seven years ago and then they set up the video to tempt him to assault her. It is because Yabo Ojo herself refused to get proper education. She's the master planner and all of them must be punished under the law. We will campaign that all our movies be banned and she must face the wrath of the law. If she likes, let her run to Abigada Bri, who will also run to APC chairman in Lagos State. There must not be a sacred cow on this case, enough of her arrogant attitude. We made that, and we must also let her know that without us, the public, she's nothing. And some people called DY vacations out, but then he replied them and said, which advanced country will allow a suspect under the law to stay in a police station till now? Without trial, none of those countries will have emotional imbalance like most of we Nigerians. We love jungle justice. We let emotions cloud our rational thinking. Listen, I will never support what Babajesha did. 
and millions of princes and Yabuju have no right to keep him in custody till date. It is barbaric, sentimental, and inhuman. Learn and don't talk like you don't know anything. Well, as a lot of Nigerians are dragging Yomi Fabi, Yomi Fabi seems to still have a lot of supporters as well. So we wait till Wednesday when he's going to go and protest at Banti police station and we'll be giving you the update. Meanwhile, as we had earlier reported, Yomi Fabi once again slammed Yabo Ojo Princess at the Lagos State Government. And he says, I don't back on the next person before I protest. If I'm concerned and genuinely aggrieved, I will go. If any few concerned, I love to stand by what is right. They join. I mean, one man will pull, one man and me. If you think illegal detention is right, I can never get to you. Your son, your father, your daughter, your mother. Then don't bother joining. Tomorrow, it might be your turn with serious medical condition. Peaceful protest is human rights and it will continue to be the language of the truly oppressed. It is childish, ridiculous and stupid to label whoever tries to demand for just and fair legal system a rapist, rape apologist or child abuser. How father and low can people be? Under normal circumstances, everybody deserves to be treated with dignity and respect. Display your emotions, but be knowledgeable, civilized enough to understand the rights of everyone, including those convicted. If bailable offense under the law, respect that. Bail is not a verdict or end of a trial for heaven's sake. Stop looking for who to love you. Just be sure they are doing the right thing by your side. Anybody can hide under the guise that a part of Nigerian society is gullible. Or console yourself that social media courts will destroy without thinking or worse to try to attach emotions to the case at hand. The law is the law and it is sacrosanct. Any society that abuses the rights of others under any excuse is a own enemy but has justice system incites violence. There are too many things at stake, too many serious canker worms that may turn bad antecedent and take our society backwards if you allow such to continue. Bail is not innocent verdict. Bail is not victory. Bail is no bias. Bail is no bias. Bail is no threat to justice. If it is allowed under the law, so be it. All these public servants and elected officials swore on oath not to let their personal emotions or sentiments interfere with their duty or the law. When it is time for latest phones, cars, fashion, music, it is we love to be compared to America, but when it is respecting human rights and treating others with dignity, respect, and not as animals, that is when we must not compare Nigeria with America. Let the law take its course and protect the rights of everyone. Is it that difficult? Must we continue to go backwards? We have come to the end of this episode. We are talking to Mato Okulia Debite, also supports Yabu Ujo, and she says that we are our own problem in this country, and she speaks on Baba Jesha's ongoing case. Also, Yomi Fabi will be protesting tomorrow by 10 a.m., even though there's going to be lockdown tomorrow. We have come to the end of this episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned one or two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily contents.